What is up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing Charizard and Venusaur at the same time. Well maybe not at the same time, but maybe at the same time, because they have Fire Pledge and Grass Pledge. What you do when Fire Pledge and Grass Pledge are used is the faster Mon gives up their attack, and then the slower one is going to use, in this case, a 150 power fire move, which could end up being either of these depending on whether Sun is up. And that fire move will set fire on the opponent side of the field, kind of like a Gigantamax Charizard at home. Uh, it's not as much damage, so it's not quite as good, it's much harder to set up, but maybe we pull that off. That's not the main thing I'm going to be going for here today. The rest of this team, we've got Whimsicott for Sunny Day and Tailwind, which Venusaur and Charizard love. This is a Choice Specs Terra Fire Charizard, by the way. And also a Torkoal to help set the sun. You know I love Torkoal. I use Torkoal whenever I can. This particular one is a Jack Pack with Overheat, so you can pivot out. And Mail and Didi. Mail and Didi is something that's been picking up a bit because it's a self contained Psy Spam. It has Twisted Spoon, Expanding Force, just to do big spread psychic damage. But also it has Imprison, which is just a good thing to have on a team like this. We're very fast paced. And Terra Fighting Terra Blast. I wonder if I'm going to be able to use that. And even if I don't, it has a normal type Terra Blast when you don't Terrastalize, which it also gets stabbed for. And finally, a faster Saluma. You've seen that solve before. Anyways, this team was made by, I guess, a friend of Moxie Boosted. I found it over on Moxie Boosted's channel. So I'll link that video in the description below. But uh, let's get on to it. All right, here we've got a match with, ooh, Indeedy Armor Rouge. They also have Salamence, Annihilate, Grimmsnarl, and Flamigo. The Flamigo screams to me that it's gonna be co-star next to weakness policy, weak armor on the Armor Rouge. Possibly procced by U-turn from, from Annihilate, maybe Sucker Punch Grimmsnarl, maybe Bulldoze Salamence or something. So, we could try to go fast with Venusaur to stop it. We could just use Whimsicott, set Tailwind to be faster that way. Maybe even bring our own Indeedee. I don't hate that. Whimsicott Indeedee. Indeedee should be faster than any of those with Scarf. Could also do Charizard, but Charizard can't really do much into an Armor Rouge, unfortunately. Uh, I do like Venusaur at least, though, just for the speed under the sun. For max speed, or modest max speed, that might be faster than the Armor Rouge. And then I guess Torkoal, there is always a chance that they actually go the other way. And it'll give me another opportunity to set Sun if I don't set it with Whimsicott. And if for some, yeah, if they do actually have Trick Room, then Torkoal's a good mod to have. So yeah, those are the four I'm going with. Leaving Charizard on the bench this time feels weird. But we're gonna bring Venusaur out. And we're gonna click some strong moves, I hope. We'll see if Indeedee can actually impress me. That's a decent card. I know how to know how to change your image a little bit. They give you some filters and stuff. Salamence Grimstone. Okay, this is not what I expected at all. I don't hate it. We do get to see speed interactions between Salamence and Indeedee at least. Looks like we're faster, or they're Moxie. No, we are just faster. Beautiful. And I think I want to actually Moonblast the Grim Snarl to hit it. And just put it, throw an Expanding Force at Salamence. They're, I'm really surprised by this lead, I'm not sure. What's going on here? Yeah, they set light screen, that makes sense. I guess maybe I could have doubled into the Salamence with Moonblast. I was a little worried they might try to Terra. And I wanted to make sure Moonblast hit something. Decent damage on Grim, about a third. And it's Iron Head into Indeedee, okay. Well, another expanding force will take Salamence unless they Terra, so we can at least force out the Terra there. I think I'm happy with Moonblast, Grimmsnarl. Put another expanding force down. Yeah, we do force out their Terra, that's good. 
Yep, onto Salamence. Steel. That's about what I expected. Doubling in with Moonblast wouldn't have helped. So this is perfectly fine. Uh, they might be knocking out Whimsicott, but it seems like we're going to be having the speed advantage anyway in this match, so we don't really need Talon. Yeah, no way would Moonblast have finished that. Okay, Grimmsnarl, and then... What are you going for here? Is this going to be a double KO? Iron Head onto... No, Iron Head onto Indeedee. And then maybe Spirit Break into Whimsicott? That doesn't do anything. Yeah, that is what it is. Okay. Then I'll bring in Venusaur. Unfortunately, Venusaur doesn't hit Salamence super hard in this position. Uh, but we should be able to bring in Torkoal here. They didn't have any possibility of setting weather. Okay, I think I'm cool with saving Whimsicott for later. Once the uh, terrain disappears, we can get some Encores. So yeah, I'll bring in Torkoal. They probably Iron Head that slot anyway. I'll throw a Sludge Bomb into Grimmsnarl to get rid of that. I don't want that using Spirit Break to lower any of my special attacks. I've got all the special attackers left. I've got all special attackers, period. Alright, Grimmsnarl's gone. Cool. I think Helping Hand Grass Pledge could take Salamence. Or I could- oh, they're Dragon Dancing! Okay. That's a little scary. Uh, but Venusaur should definitely be faster than that still. We saw that they were slower than our Indeedy. So what else you got? Yeah, through Light Screen, that might be- Oh, Flamigo with the Dragon Dance boost now. Okay. We're Terra Dragon. We do have Protect on Venusaur. We could just Protect Venusaur and launch an Overheat to pivot out into Whimsicott. Would I want to knock out Salamence? Who do I think their last would be? Would it be Scarf Annihilate? I think I want to Overheat Flamingo, Flamingo just to try to pivot out and I'll Protect Venusaur here. I'm worried about, like, dual wing beat from Flamigo. Ooh, it's close combat into Torkoal. Decent damage. But they doubled into Torkoal. Maybe they have Earthquake? Nope, it's just Iron Head into Venusaur. Okay. I don't think we really needed to be protecting there, then. Bring Flamigo to a sash. Nice. Very nice. We get out of here. Now with Whimsicott, we don't outspeed. I mean, Venusaur is going to outspeed the Flamigo as long as Sun is up. Psychic terrain is about to end. I think what I want to do is bring Torkoal back in for Whimsicott. And launch A. Grass Pledge on Flamigo. Yeah, I think that works. Because we should be faster than Flamigo. I think Salamence would want to Iron Head the Whimsicott. Hopefully we can catch them there. All right, Grass Pledge by Flamigo. And if you hit Venusaur, I mean we do have our Sash. Here comes an Iron Head. And the Torkoal, beautiful. We eat that. Now that the weirdness is gone, when Whimsicott comes back onto the field, we'll be sitting with Encore ability. Here's an Armor Rouge. A little bit hard for Venusaur to hit an Armor Rouge. Looks like they were light clay, so they got a lot of light screen left too. That's gonna be annoying. 
Here, I think I need to helping hand and grass pledge the Salamence. If that isn't enough, we're in trouble. I feel like it should be enough, but if it just falls short, I think we're in big trouble. Ooh, it's a protect? That's not as bad. That's not good, but that's not as bad. Depends on what Armor Rouge wants to do here, I guess. Uh, just take out the Torkoal? Fine. You are now locked in to protect with Salamence for a little bit. My Whimsicott. I guess I could Terra to try to take an Armor Cannon, but with the sun up, I don't know if that matters. I'm not gonna need Terra on Venusaur, I have the Sash. So I guess I should just pop it. Encore and... Is this a position where I go for Sleep Powder? I don't think Goggles on Armor Rouge makes any sense on this team. I think I'm gonna Encore Salamence. And I am gonna Sleep Powder Armor Rouge. I don't think Sludge Bomb does enough damage. And we connect the Sleep Powder. Okay, that's great. Now we just double into Armor Rouge as much as we can until... until we can get it. Because Salamence is guaranteed to protect this turn. Armor Rouge can wake up at any time now, though. Sun is gone. Yeah, I should Terra the Whimsicott. I'll Terra Moonblast. And my biggest damage output will be Sludge Bomb into Arm Rouge. Just tearing in case they wake up. Now that there's no sun, I think I can actually take an Armor Cannon. This will also potentially help me later for an Iron Head, but I think we got, as long as Whimsicott's still alive, it's not going to be allowed to Iron Head. Show me damage. <laughs> That's not damage. Special attack drop is nice, though. Sludge Bomb, damage. Oh, that's good damage, okay. Yeah, another double up into Armor Rouge takes it. Especially with Light Screen gone, we might not even have to double up. For as long as Salamence is on cord, we need to attack Armor Rouge. Yeah, I think, I think we take it for sure. They should try to wake up and go for a Protect here on Armor Rouge if they have it. But they didn't, so they probably don't have it. Goodbye, Armor Rouge. Get out of here. Venusaur putting in a lot of work. That was a that was a lot of damage from the Sludge Bomb. I'm wondering if going for Sleep Powder was a possible throw. Okay, time to Encore Lock you again. And Grass Pledge is the only move that hits you. They're sticking it out. I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe they're thinking they can survive until they run out of protects and then they break the Encore lot. I forced them to use three. They used one on their own. Then there's this one. That was five. So they've got at least five more. I don't think they're pulling the six protects in a row. No, they can't even pull two. Okay. Then this should be GG. Moonblast, not enough? Correct. Okay, yeah, I was right. And Grass Pledge finishes it off. Let's go Venusaur. And Whimsicott. And I guess Torkoal and Indeedee helped. Indeedee didn't do too much, honestly, but it, it, it got the first big chunk on the salad. Great game for Venusaur, though. Let's go. GG's. Okay, Rain versus Sun. Let's go. Pretty standard Pelipper, ba ooh, the female Basket Legion actually. Archaladon, Whimsicott, Blood Mooner, Saluna of their own, and a Dragapult. Manual Sun is what wins it here. So it's Whimsicott Charizard. Against something like Dragapult, that's a little annoying. Having Torkoal is nice, just as another opportunity to set Sun. 
And then, is it Indeedy? Which can do some decent damage. Ursa Luna, which can take a beating. Or Venusaur with the speed and the sash. Venusaur's moves are resisted by Dragapult, and so are most of my moves. So I'm actually thinking Ursa Luna. It has a good physical defense. We're a speedy one. And we're not going to be faster than it under Tailwind. So maybe Indeedy is the play. Get Tailwind up, hit it with an expanding force. Venusaur also can't touch our Chalodon, so I don't think it's a Venusaur game. I guess the question is Indeedy or Ursa Luna? They get weather control, it's bad. Uh, I guess it's Ursa Luna because it gives us another shot into our Chalodon. And both, both Ursa Luna and Indeedee, they can both hit Dragapult pretty hard. It's just Ursa Luna will never outspeed it. Tough call. Okay, okay. Took a picture during the Kitakami arc. I get it. I like those characters, especially Ogre Pond. Basky Legion Dragapult. Alrighty then. If they Dragon Darts, Bolt would go into Charizard. I don't like that. They've also got two fire resistances out on the field. I could hard swap Torkoal and get a fire move off. That way Dragon Darts would be split. Not really sure what to expect from a female Basket Legion. I could also tear a Whimsicott just to take a Dragon Darts to the face, but that's awkward. I'm gonna bring in Torkoal now, and I'm gonna commit Terra Fire Heat Wave. If they have their Basket Legion slower than this Whimsicott and hard swap in Teleper here, I am sunk. But that is not what they're doing. Okay, good. Uh, if they are Scarf Flip Turn Basket Legion, I could still be in trouble, but I don't know why you would run Flip Turn on the female. Uh, I guess you could run U Turn on Dragapult. That would be annoying. And they're going for a Terra. Are you going to drop one of the types that was helping you? Or are you going to double down on water? Doubling down on water. Okay, that shouldn't be a flip turn then. Unless the dra if the Dragapult U-turns, that's a great play and they go. Oh no! Oh no, I called it out too! No! Oh. This is going to be a double KO. I don't know what move they've got. It's special Surf? Hydro Pump? They got a miss and then I still probably lose. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. This is bad. This is really, really bad. It's Muddy Water Double Connect GG. <laughs> Bye Charizard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You got me. That was a good play. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, just a, just a great lead by them there. Alright, uh, is this still salvageable? Assuming they're Swift Swim... I mean, they can miss Muddy Waters. And we can Sunny Day here. We already burned Terra, unfortunately. They're definitely gonna swap. But I think they're gonna swap in Muddy Water, so we need to Sunny Day... Dodge some Muddy Water... And... Probably Blood Moon the Fish. They could also read the sunny day and just weather ball into my Whimsicott. It'd be like, I'll take that KO and I'll trade all of this. But I think I need to sunny day Blood Moon. Tailwind isn't going to get me ahead of Basket Legion. I'm assuming it's Swift Swim. Yeah. Teleper probably swaps. Oh, Wide Guard. I like that. I'm cool with that. Uh, unless that means they're clicking Surf. <laughs> they could have Wide Guard and then click Surf, which won't miss. Okay, it is Muddy Water. Tell me that was Ursa Luna. Yes! Alright. Whimsicott will eat this breezily. Covert Cloak means no accuracy drop. Okay, we're not completely out of it. 
Remember what I said earlier, though, about Ursaluna not being as fast as Dragapult. That could come into play here. <laughs> and yeah, here's Dragapult. Dragon Darts would go double into Ursaluna. Hope this Whimsicott at least is fast enough to outspeed after Tailwind. Oh yeah, it definitely will be after Tailwind. But I guess I need to cover for like Phantom Force. I could Encore the Pelipper here and protect. I think they would swap, though. Yeah, I need to Tailwind. And I actually need to Protect. Ah, great. I should have Encored the Pelipper. Yeah, they're either gonna match Tailwind or they're gonna take out my Whimsicott here. I thought they would swap it, though. Alright, at least I call the Dragon Darts. They could be... Could they be slow enough on Dragapult for me to outspeed? I think if they're adamant, maybe. That's what I have to go for, because there's no reason for them to not just click Dragon... Oh, I'm faster! They're adamant! Get out of here! I still don't think we win. I still think there's too much of a lead from them. Like, two Weather Balls probably is enough. Like, we're faster and all, but they've got a Sash. They get another one of these. Yeah, that's more than enough. Oh, boy. And then here's their Ursaluna. I mean, they just click, what, Wide Guard Blood Moon? No, they should just, they could just attack with both if they have Sash. I need to stall out Sun, and then be faster. There's no shot. I need to just hyper voice and hope it get double crits and KOs both. <laughs> yeah, no, no crits. And that would only work if Pelipper wasn't sad, too. Alright, GG. That turn one was brutal. I got way too far for how good that turn one was for them. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was fun. Charizard didn't get to do anything, but it was fun. GG. Alright, here we've got, oh, Whimsicott Typhlosion, hello, with their own Indeedee, and their Blood Moon, and Meowskarada, and Dragonite. What we need to do is hope Charizard's faster. Uh, if they're modest Typhlosion, we're faster. Uh, what about Indeedee? Indeedee's pretty fast. Indeedee's looking pretty good, actually. Whimsicott Indeedee. If they have Scarf on Typhlosion, we'll get to see the interaction if they lead a Frisk Typhlosion, because we're leading Indeedee, which also sets an ability. If they're Scarf Typhlosion, what can I? What can I even do? Venusaur. Hope they Terra and Sludge Bomb them back? Or, uh, it's... Hmm. Yeah, I think Venusaur is pretty good here. And then maybe Torkoal. Venusaur just for its Sash. Torkoal doesn't seem terribly good, but I'm worried we don't get Sun up if I don't bring Torkoal. I wonder if they even go Whimsicott Typhlosion on lead, seeing that we have all the fire here too. I don't know, I think Typhlosion's really good into this team here. Oh, that's a cool card. I like Mimikyu. Yeah, a Typhlosion with like Scarf plus Whimsicott? Impossible to handle. Okay, but that is not impossible to handle. This I like a lot. This I get to click Expanding Force. And my own Tailwind. I don't see anything better to do. 
I guess Terra Fighting Terra Blast is what? That's 240, whereas Expanding Force is a single, on an individual target, it would be 90, 1.3, 1.5, 1.2. It's comparable. Fight, fighting Terra Terra Blast might do a little bit more to Ursula. But I'm hoping this is just enough. Ooh, not quite. And Blood Moon the Indy. Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, now I can just bring in Venusaur, though. They cannot encore my Whimsicott. I cannot encore their Whimsicott either. Is there any way I get out of this with Venusaur's Sash intact? If I Moonblast the Bear and Sludge Bomb the Whimsicott, they don't have a Poison Switch in, really. At least nothing immune to it. And Whimsicott can only break my Sash if they target the Venusaur, which I don't know if that's very likely. Oh, they go for the Encore in Psychic Terrain. Nope, sorry. That's what that's for. <laughs> cool. So we do take a lead. It's now 3-2. And their Mons are locked in. However, depending on what they have, this is not over. If they have, like, Scarf-type Flosion, that's really difficult to handle. Especially because we'll probably want to set Sun. <laughs> yeah, here's Typhlosion. And Yasgarada. Okay. You see my cloak, you see my sash. They have Terra available. Both of these should be faster than Venusaur before I set Sun. And what about versus Whimsicott? They should also both be faster than Whimsicott. Well, the Typhlosion's iffy, but it can be. Does late game Tailwind get me anything? Not a whole lot, no. I'll Sunny Day. And there's a chance Sludge Bomb Oko's Meowskarada if they don't Terra that slot. And if they're not Sash. But it looks like they are gonna Terra. But it's the Typhlosion! Okay, that actually helps me a lot. Because the amount of damage you're doing isn't gonna change. You're still gonna Oko both of these mons. As long as I can take out Meowskarada, like, don't be Sash, please. Okay! Okay, that's huge. Now I'm hoping you're locked into Eruption. Because what I can do now is hit you with a big Helping Hand Sludge Bomb. That'll take out most of the Typhlosion's health. Then Eruption can't kill Torkoal. And then Torkoal can finish off the game. That's the plan. Uh, I could also just use Sludge Bomb into Overheat. But I think Helping Hand is the play. I'm Terra Dragon. That doesn't change anything. Helping Hand. Terra Ghost also doesn't change anything. Sludge Bomb. If they're choiced, this play wins me the game. If they are not choiced and they can switch up moves onto Torkoal... Ooh, we almost get the KO. Ooh. Yeah, I think this is... I think it's a safer bet that they're choice. But then the Meowskarada was banded, most likely. Tailwind is gone on both ends. Three turns of Sun remain. Sun is only helping them. If they can switch to Overheat, my best play is dodging that Overheat. Though I might be able to take that. A lot of special defense on this thing. So yeah, I think we got this. 
body press. Okay, they can switch moves, but there's no way and I, uh, yeah, no. Shadow Ball wasn't taken, Torkoal. Now that we know you're not Specs, get out of here. Woo! Let's go. Let's go, Venusaur, Torkoal, putting in work. Indeed he helped. <laughs> Probably should have been fighting Terra Blast though. But anyways, GG. Okay, here we've got, ooh, Talonflame, Tyranitar Garchomp, Golden Go, Bramble Gas, and Glamora. They really like their sand. Uh, Tailwind gives Bramblegast an attack boost with Wind Rider. It's also immune to Heat Wave. Remember that, Jordy. You can't just click Heat Wave. Expanding Force is no good, but baiting out a Tyranitar could be funny. In fact, setting Tailwind with Whimsicott next to Indeedee so they can't Brave Bird me, that sounds really fun. What that doesn't hit is Golden Go, but who brings a Golden Go into Torkoal Charizard? I like Whimsicott Indeedee. Is it a Charizard finish? Can't click Heat Wave, they've got so many fire resists. Venusaur can't hit Golden Go though. I do need to bring something that hits Golden Go. Maybe that's Ursa Luna. Torkoal doesn't feel great either. Well, Torkoal, at least it can hit Tyranitar, it can hit Golden Go, Bramble Gas. I think I will just bring Charizard last. Maybe I can get Sun up. There's no guarantee. You know what? I'm gonna bring Torkoal. It's a very bulky set. I think it might be able to do something. Even if that something is just turn off the sand and then go down. Alright, let's see. Okay, no trainer card. Boo. But also, I didn't... I don't think I brought Venusaur or Charizard to this one. Wait a second. <laughs> They're supposed to be the features! Jordy, what are you doing? Alright, Tailwind plus Golden Go. Fun. I can put up my own Tailwind just to get a hit off with Indeedee. Yeah, that seems fine. And then after turn one, I mean, Talonflame should be going down turn one. I was going to say that I can Encore it in Psychic Terrain because it's a flying type. But I don't know if it's going to matter. I don't know if any of this is going to matter. The game seems to be frozen. <laughs> this match might not happen. You might not be seeing this right now. Well, if you are seeing this right now, you know the match ended up ends up working eventually. So just, I don't know, skip ahead to that point. Okay, game, what are you doing? There we go, okay, this is the point you skipped ahead to. All right, they've got psychic switch-ins, but the mons they have on the field take expanding force just fine. I don't really want to bring in Torkoal hard, but I could. The problem with that is Indeedy. Indeedee isn't going to take a Make It Rain very well if they are like Choice Vex Terra Steel. So I think I just need to Tailwind and get the damage I can get right now. Jordy, don't do it. Nope. Just, just click Expanding Force. Aw, oh, they're tearing! I could have totally done it! No! <laughs> nah, I should have done it. I should have just. I should have just fighting Terra Terra blasted them. I should have been bold. Oh, are they not gonna get Tailwind up? Oh, they're not gonna get their own Tailwind up. Never mind, this is awesome. Please, take the double KO. I don't care. I care a little. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be real. I do care. If they think I might have Torkoal in the back, they're going to have to save Tyranitar for last. 
so they wouldn't bring Tyranitar in right here, which means they're going to want to swap something at some point, giving me a free hit somewhere. That's my guess. They could also just bring Tyranitar out now. Oh, they did. Oh, bro. Thank you. Your swap into a body press is Bramblegast. Your swap into an earth power is Bramblegast. So actually Bramblegast could be coming in on either slot. But I'm happy with Dragon Terra Body Press T-Tar. Because if Tyranitar stays in, it's gonna get a hit before Torkoal moves. Dragon Terra Body Press the Tyranitar. Earth Power Gold. See what happens. They're leaving both of them in. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take Gold and Go. You're gonna Rock Slide, do very little to Torkoal, and then Arky is willing. I don't flinch and get to body press you. Which, I don't know if that KOs, but it'll do a good chunk. Yeah, Golden Go is Golden Gone. Love it. No protects either. I expected Golden Go to be specs. I could have Terra Blasted at turn one, but it's fine. They go for Stone Edge on Torkoal. Okay, we're gonna take that, fine. And almost eliminate them. Nice. That's Hyper Voice range. I could just, I'm just gonna helping hand Hyper Voice now. Yeah, that's a Garchomp, that's exactly what I thought. Is it helping hand Hyper Voice, or is it Hyper Voice plus, like, Overheat? I think it's helping hand Hyper Voice. Or is it Blood Moon Body Press? Or is it even Helping Hand Blood Moon? Uh, there's a good chance Garchomp just protects anyway. I'm gonna Helping Hand Hyper Voice. Do we see a Protect from either of them? No, we don't. Ooh, huge damage on a Garchomp. And a crit on T-Tar. Oh, give me the crit on the Garchomp! All right, if you only have single target moves, I don't think you can win from this position. You can use Dragon Claw Torkoal though, that should take it out. Yeah. So I was never gonna get hit with Torkoal. Question is Tailwind turns. I think this will be the last one, so you're gonna get a hit off onto me. Right? Yeah, if you have Protect, you can get a hit. Yeah, you do have Protect. Alright, it's gonna come down to one hit from Garchomp. Do I think they would have Earthquake on this team? Yes. Do I think it matters? No. No, I think we can take an Earthquake. We saw they weren't Life Orb. They protect it so they're not Choice Banned. Ursaluna's stats are like... Kinda unfair. 140 defense, 195 HP. Well, now we're down to 157. Yeah, we can take an Earthquake, we're fine. Blood Moon time. Double Protect, just for fun? Did you forget Tailwind just ended? Not sure what the purpose of that is. Unless... Unless you have a priority move? I don't think you get one. Unless you're trying to triple protect to stall sun and then use like liquidation? I don't really get it. But I'm clicking Hyper Voice now. They do have Earthquake. I'm sure I live this, right? Oh, easy. So easy. Ursaloon is just crazy. Goodbye, Garchomp. Get out of here. And that is game. GG's. Go get a trainer card, though. And we are back. Venusaur really impressed me. Charizard appeared to one battle. <laughs> he, he was there for like about half a turn. But anyway, I had a blast using this team. This team is so silly and so fun. There's the rental code in the corner for you if you want to try it out yourself. Uh, and anyways, I'm Jordy. And uh, all right, peace.